Thank you for joining us on another episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm your host, Dale Shields, along with my wife, Siobhan, and this week we're taking you to Kennard, Texas, to the TBRS Horse Camp, a beautiful facility with great trails in the Davy Crockett National Forest. Siobhan's gonna tell you a little bit about the facility and the campground. The facility's really nice. Um, Tom and Stephanie's done an excellent job maintaining it, putting it there. Um, they started from nothing. Stephanie, being an avid horse rider, has put experience in it. Right. Very nice, got some good stalls for horses with cover, and then also easy to park with your trailer. Yeah, it's a wonderful campground. Our riders really enjoyed being there. We rode on those beautiful trails in the uh, Davy Crockett National Forest, and we're excited to show you this episode of Best of America by Horseback. Sit back and watch with us at the TBRS Horse Camp in Kennard, Texas. On this show, Siobhan and I are in Kennard, Texas at the TBRS Horse Camp. This campground is owned by Tom and Stephanie Hanslick, wonderful host with a beautiful campground. It was late March when we were able to visit the TBRS and the grass was green, the trees were beautiful, and the trails were amazing to ride. We're going to share with you all the fun that our riders had at the TBRS, from a pie judging contest to dress up contest to just being together for wonderful meals, gathering around the campfire for evening conversations and music. From start to finish, this was a very fun event. Cowboy lost in a modern world, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Not a day goes by, I don't think about how my life used to be. Now I'm out of my prime and I'm losing time and nobody's calling for me. They used to call my name, come round of time, now the four wheeler takes my place. And the cowboy life that I've always loved is getting lost without a trace. But I won't give up and I won't give in. I'm a cowboy till I die. And I know there's got to be a place for me underneath big western sky. Tom and Stephanie Hanslick are some of the nicest people you'll ever want to meet. We enjoyed getting to sit down and talk with them about the camp and about the trails. You guys have created a wonderful campground here. Thanks. Um, talk to us just a little bit about what your dreams were when you originally came here and set the camp up. Well, they were to do a horse camp. We, it took us a while to find a property that was close enough to the horse trails where it would be feasible. And once we found it, it was we just went for it and uh, did it. And it was also, I retired and I knew she was riding all the, wanted to ride all the time and this gave her an opportunity to not have to travel so much. And you know, her friends could come here and ride and she could ride and that's about what it, what it was. Yeah. So Stephanie, since you ride and you have friends come here and ride with you, what's well, some of the greatest compliments you get about the campground here from people who come? Um, I guess the biggest compliment is that they can tell it's been built by horse people. And uh, the things that we thought of to keep horses safe and riders safe and just the small things and keeping it clean. You know, we've just made it um, a camp that we would want to camp at. 
and right. that's how we keep it. Yeah, I, I did hear comments this weekend about this is one of the cleanest, well-kept campgrounds that these individuals had been to, and they could tell that that was part of your program, was to keep this place uh, with great eye appeal, and it does have that. That's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah it is. When we come back, we're going to share with you more of the fun-filled activities that we were able to enjoy at the TBRS Horse Camp near Kennard, Texas. It was so good to ride these beautiful trails and enjoy our time together. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Best of America by Horseback. I'm your host, Dale Shields, in Kennard, Texas at the TBRS Horse Camp. This is a wonderful place to be. Terrific people at the Davy Crockett National Forest. Stay with us and watch. Barbara, what's your favorite thing about riding these trails out here? Mm, I think the variety um, and um, they're very quiet and um, a, lot of, a lot of nature that we see. Good friends, you know. We I've made so many friends um, after meeting Stephanie and coming down and uh, riding with people from Tourists. What's your horse's name? My horse's name is Third Times the Charm. We call her Charm, sometimes Charmless, and uh, she's a 23-year-old Missouri fox trotter. And she loves the trails as much as you do. She does. She does. She's a good girl. It's a pleasure having you ride with us. Well, thank you. It's just been a pleasure to ride. It's good, good to meet new people, especially horse people. There were severe storms predicted for the area where we were riding on Friday. Everyone there was uh, praying and had high hopes that the weather would miss us, and it did. Unfortunately, it moved on to some of the eastern states, Tennessee and Mississippi that night, where there were terrible tornadoes, and our hearts were saddened to hear the devastation that had missed us but had hit other folks. Our ride went out as planned, and did we have a good time. What beautiful scenery as we rode through the Davy Crockett National Forest. Stephanie had promised to take us out on some beautiful trails, and she did not disappoint. It was wonderful riding with great footing, great scenery, and everyone had a smile on their face. Hello world. Y'all be blessed. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> it is. God is good. <laughs> a fabulous day. What are your thoughts on the trails here, Janice? Well, I love these trails. These are, these are good trails for me. I like the flat land, it's a little bit of rolling, but for the most part, it's an excellent trail. So this terrain would allow for any level of rider to ride on, wouldn't it? Any level would, would work here. It's pretty here and uh, the trails are wide and well maintained. Yes, they are. Yeah. We've enjoyed it. Following our Friday afternoon ride, Siobhan got to do one of the favorite things that she gets to do during the weekend, and that is to give away one of her personally designed favorite pie contest aprons. This activity has really grown and folks have so much fun being a part of this, whether they are contestants or the audience who is watching the contestants with their pies in the contest. There were more contestants at this contest than we've had in any other. There were pies represented from Texas, of course, Louisiana, Arkansas, and a few other states. And one of our riders even entered the famous moon pie. The judging was very intense, but when the numbers came in, we had a first and second place winner whose numbers were very close. And, though the pie was good, you just can't put a price on those smiles. Clean up after the contest is never a problem. There's always lots of volunteers. Once the pie had settled and everyone had had a good rest, 
Tom provided a wonderful spread for the evening meal. Looks like you outdid yourself, Tom. Good. I hope it's good. These are not both for me. Tom and Stephanie took great care of our guests throughout the weekend, feeding wonderful meals. Once this meal was over, everyone had a chance to relax. It was time to gather at the campfire to wind down the day and hear a little bit of cowboy music and visit. Saturday morning was a beautiful day to wake up to. We had lots of activities and lots of good trails to ride. Stay tuned and we'll be back to show you more from the beautiful TBRS Horse Camp near Kennard, Texas. Talk about your, your campsites. How many do you have, your hookups, pins? Well, we have 16 sites. Um, each, each site has water and electric. We have two sites for 50 amp. Everything else is 30 amp. Um, we have seven covered pens, um, seven sites that are covered, and some of those can hold three, some can hold four horses at the site. We have one site that uh, will hold three that's uncovered. Everything else is two horses per site. This campground is full of these beautiful pine trees. Um, you would think, you know, when you drive in, it's going to be difficult to park here because there's so many trees. But the layout of this place, the way you guys have designed it, uh, we were talking this morning about one of the ladies that pulled in with such ease last night. Um, talk a little bit about the layout of that. Well, the layout was done, so the road was built first. We had the road built around here, and then my wife took her trailer and started plotting where we could get them. And she would tell me, take this tree out, take that tree out, we're putting one here, and it works. Yeah, because I was the one driving around with the truck and trailer, and I'm a mediocre backer-upper, so if, if I had difficulties doing it, um, I knew it was just going to be too hard for the <laughs> majority of the right. folks. So me just being uh, you know, moderate backer. Yeah. And so some of them, which are my favorites, are just the pull-throughs. You don't have to back up at all. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. just decide which way you want to go into it. You never have to back up at all. Yeah, I didn't see anyone struggling this weekend to pull the trailer in or to pull it out. Um, let's also talk about it a little bit. We were well fed this weekend. Um, you guys went above and beyond taking care of people. And I, I know uh, from visiting with you, visiting with others who have been here, uh, as a matter of fact, one of the great things about this weekend was there were a number of folks who were here with us on this ride who ride here regularly, but they came for this event this weekend because they love this place. They love you guys. Um, people service is important to you, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And you know, we're very grateful for the support that we get for, from customers, I guess you would call them. But uh, yeah, they, they support us very well. And uh, we, wanna, we wanna make it enjoyable and we also want to make it economical for people to come because it could get very expensive for people, you know, camping. Um, we don't do that food service all the time. Sure. We do it for big groups and sometimes we do it for small groups and it, it just depends on what they want. But yeah. uh, we're here and we're available to do that. Stephanie, what type of events do you guys host throughout the year? 
Um, I'm going to say mostly it's trail riding groups and clubs and um, yeah, ladies groups and, and uh, church groups and then uh, we try to have a wagon ride. Hopefully we can keep that going on. On Veterans Day weekend. We have, yeah, that and Veterans Day in November because, yeah. you know, it is hunting season and we do close during hunting season uh, just because there's so many hunters sure. out there at that time. Sure. And so having a wagon ride then gets everybody a chance to come do that on the Forest Service roads. And right. So you, you have uh, opportunities for people to come through group events, but also individuals can just book and come. And you can book online. Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, so that makes it really easy, you know, because it is just Tom and I running the camp, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things to do. Sure. And it makes it difficult when people, you know, have to get hold of me on the phone or through email to try to book. and. So it just makes it easier, they just can go right on our website, look at all the information, all the different, um, you know, each campsite has different rig size allowance maximums, um, and they can just hit the book now button and go straight into our reservation system and pick the nights they want and pay for it right then and there. And uh, then if they have any questions, you know, give us a call, shoot us an email. When folks come here to camp, um, one of the neat things about this is y'all have a, a great pavilion. The open patio area, plus you have the indoor uh, kitchen area. And so talk a little bit about that and how that works for you. Well, it works really great, um, especially in, it doesn't matter if it's hot or if it's cold. We have fans on the patio. Um, there is uh, space inside. It does have a small kitchen. It's not large. There's not a large oven or anything, but there's a place to wash your dishes if you need to. There's a TV in there. A lot of people play cards in there at night. You know, if the if they're if it's cold or if it's too hot, it's air conditioned, heated. So we have um, two heated and air conditioned restrooms and two heated and air conditioned showers that are available for all the campers to use. And we can also, if you want to uh, have exclusive use of the patio, if you have a party or something like that, just give us a call um, and we can arrange that for you too. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice facility and uh, people were out here all weekend enjoying being out here. So uh, what a great treat that is. We've been blessed to be able to be eating um, produce from your little store for a couple years because some of your local folks that live here have been treating us every time we see them. Uh, our friends Vern and Mildred uh, that you know yes. her very yes. well. And uh, to be able to come in the store and see all y'all do, it's a treat. Well, the treat is ours for y'all stopping to this store. Uh, it means we're doing something right, I hope. And for y'all to travel through and stop on your way to your destination, so it's our pleasure. Siobhan's been looking forward to this ever since we planned the trip down here. And uh, I'm glad we finally got to stop meet you guys and hopefully we'll come back through and uh, we'll stop again. I think we're gonna see you Sunday. Right. We're gonna put a pecan pie back for you. I'm Very good. good. I, I'm not opposed to that. The pleasure's been ours. Thank Truly. you so much. God's, it's just a blessing well, we to meet folks like y'all. Thank and, you so uh, much for that. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Best of America by Horseback. We had a terrific time this weekend at the TBRS Horse Camp, and uh, the folks were wonderful to be with. We enjoyed the trails so much. Um, this is a great place to go, and uh, we had a terrific time. Siobhan, what were some of your highlights for the weekend? The pie contest. <laughs> I always enjoy the food. Um, that's always fun. And also, you know, the trails, I should say, too. Beautiful trails. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I don't get to ride them, but again, I still get to experience them. That's right. So. This is a terrific place. We highly recommend it. We think you're going to have a great time if you go there and spend time at this horse camp and ride those trails. It's going to be a good time. We'd love to have you come and join us on one of our locations. To do so, you can find out where we're going to be on our website, which is? Our website is www.bestofamericabyhorseback.com and also our phone number is 620-433-1819. That's right. And you can keep up with us on our Facebook page, watch past episodes on our YouTube channel, and keep up with us there. 
We'd love to have you come and ride with us. Until then, always ride the high trail.